like it's enclosed. So, yay! We've got an indoors to work with. I can live with this. Not that there's anything to see apart from being sort of unusual in its format. Let's check the place out. I smell curry. Or maybe that's the big speed bob behind me. Well, we'll just have to look around a little bit. And I don't mean to chew up time here. Okay. Well, I didn't want to stop at the first place that I came to, but um, a couple of places that I did come to offered the same sort of thing. Toasties. Don't have these back home, obviously, so, and I guess it's an Australian special shape. So, let's give this a try. This one's probably fairly straightforward because it's called uh, Porky Pig. Got maple bacon and uh, cheese in there, barbecue sauce, the whole nine yards. They had some interesting ones up there, including some very strange names. Yeah. I don't think you'd get away with calling something holy cheeses over in the States. Let's try this. It's, um, mm. Mm. it's a bit sweeter than I expected. Um, maybe that's just the barbecue sauce. They talked about having like bacon and jam in here, among other things, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But, mm -hmm. Well, they don't skip on the cheese. And this is half the sandwich, so you're getting your money's worth. Sure. Now, actually, it's not terribly sweet. I mean, it, I mean, it's not like when you think of jam being spread on here, you think, you know, fruit jam, lots of sugars or something like that. It's sweet enough that it, it, it's, it's like a barbecue sauce. And then they also offered, um, in lieu of chips, chicken chips, which, you know, again, comment at home. But at the same time, maybe they do something different here. Honest, it's a little hot. Gonna have to wait for that to cool down a little bit more. It tasted good though. It's juicy. But... There's a little bit more breading on it than I'm accustomed to. Maybe that shields in the juice that much better. Um, it almost doesn't need the cheese, but I'd hate to waste it. I will say, I tried to film them putting this together, just slathering on the various condiments and whatnot and putting it into what basically amounts to a glorified panini maker. But when the girl turned around, she froze in place like a deer in headlights, so... Um, and since I know somebody like that, who doesn't like having their picture taken, let alone being recorded, out of respect for that, I will leave that on the cutting room floor. I made a joke about wanting to capture the recipe. And she did point me towards the Melt Brothers website, so maybe I'll do that. But not anytime soon. Although I'd be, I'd be curious to know if they've gotten anywhere other than Australia. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bit, bit of a mess to eat. 
What are you going to do? Sometimes food's going to be like that. Okay, last thing. And this is probably no different than the solo that I had in Sydney. Lighter on the lemon, heavier on the carbonation. Maybe it's from being in a can. I don't know. Um, not bad, but, you know, it just is what it is. So that's my meal for today. And um, don't have much more to add to it. I don't, rather than bore you with me continuing to eat through this, I'll just sign off and talk to you later. Much as I might prefer to have something a little more exotic, like kangaroo meat or emu meat, uh, the thing is, a lot of what I'm seeing around here, at least in the fast food department, happens to be fairly conventional or from cultures that I'm planning on visiting pretty soon anyway. I mentioned the Bibam Bob place earlier. Seen some ramen, seen some pad thai of Vietnamese. All very well, but I'm gonna be going to these places. So, why try the Australian take on it when I can get the real thing soon enough? Wow, a grilled cheese sandwich seems like a grilled cheese sandwich. It's still a slightly different take of things. Uh, chicken fries weren't half bad either. Everything's just a little bit different. Although, I'm starting to wonder whether a place like this, which just opened up in Schaumburg, is local at all or where it came from. Either that, or things have just traveled the world that quickly, and I've not known to acknowledge it up until now. I guess unless you get out of your own little region, you don't know what's regional and what's almost worldwide. As much as I talk about the mundane versus the exotic, sometimes the mundane is the mundane world over. The only thing that keeps it from really being that way is the fact that it's new to you.